When you're going to start research, the best place to go for information is the library databases. I know, you're accustomed to just using Google to find your information, but let me explain to you why databases are better. First, to find the databases, if you go to the district homepage, then click on Our Schools, then choose the high school, you'll be brought to the high school homepage. In the middle, you'll see a link to the Library Media Center. Once you see this, if you hover over it, you'll find three links. One goes directly to the online databases. Databases contain thousands of articles from magazines, newspapers, and journals that you cannot find using Google. This content is protected by the publishers, and so they will not allow you to have free access. Databases are essentially clearinghouses that give you access to this information because your library pays for it. We subscribe to over 80 databases from eight different vendors. No matter what kind of information you're looking for, the databases should be your first stop. The databases on our website are arranged by vendor, and each includes a description of what you might find in it. There are databases that contain general information, and there are also databases that contain very specialized information, such as the Criminal Justice Collection. Gale has a wide variety of databases. For instance, if you're looking for current events, check out one of the newspaper databases, or General OneFile. If you're going to do research for global problems, I'd highly recommend checking out Global Issues in Context. Another vendor we use is EBSCO. They have great databases like the Literary Reference Center. And if you're looking for magazines, you might want to check out the Mass Ultra School Edition. Job is a video video journal collection geared specifically toward science. They have great videos to help explain concepts that you're learning in class. ProQuest is another of our vendors and it has a series of research databases, each broken down by topic. CQ Researcher has issue papers that show both sides in current and important issues. These are great resources for argumentative or multiple viewpoint research. If you're looking for a specific scientific article, check out Science Direct. We also have Granger's Poetry Database and a very basic encyclopedia from Grolier. Let's take a look at one of the databases to give you a feel for what you might find. You'll notice each vendor has a distinct look and feel, but they all have very similar features. Each database has different ways to search. You can search by keyword, subject, publication title, or the entire document. They also have subject guide searches, publication searches, and advanced search. You'll also notice this little box down here is checked that limits your search to documents that have full text. Make sure this is checked in whatever database you use to eliminate a lot of frustration. I'm going to do a quick search for Malala, and these are the results I get. You'll notice on the left hand side that you can narrow your results down by type of resource, related subjects, document types, the publication they came from, and the publication dates. So if you're looking for something more recent, you can choose past week. You'll see in the center the actual results of your search. Each result provides you with a summary, also called an abstract, to give you an idea of what the article might be about. They also tell you how long the article is with a word count and how difficult it is to read using a Lexile count. Just so you know, you can also access the library databases from home. If you click on this link, you can sign into your Google account to see the passwords. You also have a PDF document that was shared with you earlier this year. If you don't have the database access passwords from home, please send me an email and I'll be sure to send them to you.